Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to make another video before the end of the night. I want to talk to you about my five minute rule. When I call a customer and I speak with them, before I start driving to them, let's say they're 10 to, I don't know, 10 minutes away, 20 minutes away. Before I drive to them, I, I see that they're 10 minutes away. I tell them, okay, I'll be there in 15 minutes. I tell them the truth. I'll be there in that amount of time. I know most locksmiths, they, they don't tell the truth, but I, I do. It's because you're being fair to yourself and you're being fair to the customer and they're not gonna be angry and upset and you're not gonna fight with them. But besides that, that's another point. I do this because most of the time, if I wait five minutes before I leave and start driving to them, even though I'm only 10 minutes away or whatever X amount of time it takes for me to get there, most of the time they will call you back within five minutes and tell you, oh, I found my keys. Oh, I got inside my car. I found my house keys. I found my car keys. Uh, they weren't inside the car. They were in the house. Most of the time, when they do, when people call you, they're in a panic and they're in the, they're in a rush. And they they panic because they don't know if they can find their keys on there and they're in a hurry to go to work or whatever. Most of the time, these people are frantic. Um, uh, they're not in the. They're not sane. They're not uh, thinking clearly. So they probably didn't spend enough time looking for their keys. So they're just in a hurry and they're just trying to call someone real quick just in case they they can't find their keys. Most of the time, these people are what I would call and what I would put them in a, in a certain category as uh, uh, panickers because they just they don't think clearly. They don't even try to look for their keys yet. They just panic. Hey. Uh, how much is it going to cost? When they finally realize, oh, wow, it's going to cost that much, whatever it may be. For some people, $100 may be too much. For some people, $200 may be too much. Whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter about the dollar amount. What matters is that for some people, they're going to be like, oh, any amount should be too much in my book. People are going to be like, wow, the, oh. Then they start looking for their keys because they now realize this is serious. This is real. I'm going to, I'm going to have to spend money. So they start panicking even more and they really start looking for the key. Their brain goes into overdrive and they need to find those keys or they need to unlock the car because they're about to spend money. Most of the time, they will call you back though within five minutes, but let's say they don't call you back. Some people are in such a hurry, such a panic mode that they won't even bother calling you back after they've already got in their car or after they've already found their house keys or their car keys. They won't call you back. So that's why you call them after five minutes. If they answer and say, yeah, I still need you. Okay, no problem, start driving to them. Wait another five minutes, call them again a second time. So you've already called them three times. The first time you called them, hey, I'm on, I'm on my way. You, you waited five minutes before you left the house, you call them again, hey, listen, I'm gonna be there in this amount of time. They still say, okay, you call them one more time. That third time you're calling them, you're already on the road for five minutes. So 10 minutes have passed after the the uh, the, uh, the first time you uh, called them. So you've only had to be driving on the road for five minutes and you've only wasted five minutes of your time if they tell you the third time they don't need you. Hey, five minutes is better than driving there for 10 minutes or 30 minutes, right? I mean, think about it. Most of the time, people are gonna tell you yes, but then you have some people who are just assholes and they don't call you or even say anything. Now, what if they don't answer their phone, you say? If they don't answer the phone, you pull over to the side of the road, sit at a gas station, I'd say five minutes. Maybe their phone died. It's happened to me many times. Maybe their phone died. Hey, listen, you only had to drive five minutes, you go back home. If they call you back and say, hey, I still need the service, oh, I'm sorry, I tried to call you to make sure that you're still waiting for me. And if they if they still uh, if they still say they need the service, then you just turn around and you drive back again. You've only wasted five to 10 minutes of your time, no big deal. Nothing wrong with that. So that's really the five minute rule. It's a little bit uh, uh, more in depth than what I was trying to go into, but those are the reasons why you really want to uh, make sure that you're um, doing a five minute rule. Always make sure that you leave five minutes after you talk to the customer because they will most likely 
call you back and let you know they don't need the service within five minutes. Sometimes I've seen it in 10 minutes, but usually five minutes. Take care.